Oh, for f**k's sake. Hey guys, Forex here. Hope you're all well. <laughs> Sod's Law strikes. <laughs> Every f time. Oh dear. Yeah, I don't know what's back on my bench. It's the Sony PlayStation from my friend. Um, it's developed a new fault. Um, what I'll do is I'll whip the lid off this thing. Uh, and show you what the fault is because uh, you'll be able to see it better unbelievable <laughs> once again <laughs> let's get in this playstation now to do that there are five screws i need to remove there's one here there's one here there's one here there's one here and the final one is up here remove those turn the playstation over and the top lid will come straight off I'll show you what the problem is now. Um, if you look just here, uh, you can see uh, a dirty great crack uh, in the spindle connector uh, that holds the CD. Now, um, what I've done is I've taken my mobile phone camera um, that, can, that can shoot in 4K as well. Um, and that does really nice macro shots. Um, and what I'll do is I'll show you a close up uh, of this crack just here. Now what I've done is I've managed to find a, a portion of my old videos where I can think I can see the crack. Um, what I'll do is I'll try and highlight it for you. It's just there. And you can see it at the time it was a hairline crack that I overlooked. Uh, what you've got to remember is I shoot my videos in 4K. Um, and yeah, you can just see it uh, just here. So yeah, just one of those things guys. It's just a hairline crack that got worse over time. So the problem this PlayStation uh, is having now is because of this crack here, the um, spindle CD connector is no longer gripping the actual spindle motor uh, and it's causing the disc to slip when it spins. So yeah. Uh, this whole thing needs replacing however I don't have um, any of these uh, in stock at the moment um, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to replace the whole laser assembly again um, now what I'm probably going to put in here is a, a BAM model um, which goes in the slim versions um, it will fit in here but you have to change the shroud to get it to fit but yeah, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the whole uh, laser assembly um, because I don't mind doing that because I know this laser works perfectly fine and it's and it's just this um, CD mount on the spindle motor that's failed uh, and I can get one of these and put one of these on after so I'm not really losing a laser um, I'm just you know swapping one and then fixing this when I get one of these. Uh, back in stock so yeah what I'll do is I'll go and get a, an old PlayStation Slim that I know uh, as a working optical pickup uh, and we'll replace uh, this one for that here's the donor PlayStation Slim I'm going to be using um, it has no motherboard in it you can see uh, the motherboard uh, went bad in this thing 
um, but it does have a, a spear optical pickup uh, which is in fully working order so uh, I'm gonna take this optical optical pickup out this PlayStation Slim and we're gonna fit it in the 1000 series original PlayStation now to get in the PlayStation Slim there are six screws you need to remove there's one here 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 and the final one is here remove those flip over the slim and you'll be able to take the top cover straight off I'm inside the slim now what I would normally do to get the laser out would be I just grab this tab here it would be plugged into the motherboard and simple you just pull it out like this and the same with the motor and sled driver connector you just pull it out like that and then the whole of the optical block just pulls straight out now to remove the optical block in later generation playstations it's, it's very easy all you do is just grab the ribbon and you pull it out like this uh, and then you take the spindle motor and sled motor connector and you pull it out now we can do that with this one you know just pulls out like that um, but with the early optical blocks to get the ribbon out you have to actually lift up the, the catch like that on both sides like that and then you can pull the ribbon out and remove the optical block now if we take a look at the BAM model that goes into the slim PlayStation you can see it actually fits in there perfect now the reason I haven't plugged it in uh, is because I'm going to show you the problem um, if we take the lid and we put the lid on the PlayStation like this what you'll see is it just doesn't fit there's a, a little bit here where it's a little bit too big and if you look at the back just there um, it's a little bit too big now you may be going well how are we going to get that to fit in there the actual body of the laser is pretty much identical to the one we've taken out the only difference is this plastic shroud that fits on the top so what we need to do is we need to remove this plastic shroud and replace it with this one that's on this laser and then uh, it will fit perfectly fine so yeah let's get swapping those shrouds over now to remove the plastic shroud is actually very easy you have a screw here that you need to remove and a screw here that you need to remove now if you turn it round you will see a clip at the back just here just there and there's also a clip on the side just here now once you remove those screws you will be able to slide this back and then you move it like this to this way uh, and that will bring it out from this clip clip here and then it will just swing out like this so I'll go ahead and do that and then come back I've gone ahead and removed the two screws I've opened the clips and now hopefully I should be, just be able to grab the slab, uh, shroud and I'm trying to do this one ended <laughs> there we go we're out simple as that um, just be aware guys be a bit careful of this ribbon when you do that because this is what uh, connects to the actual optical block now all I have to do now um, is exactly the same with this shroud remove this uh, and put it on here and that's the shrouds swapped over you wouldn't even know <laughs> and that's the optical block put in let's uh, connect it all up very easy to do let's put your connector in there like this the ribbon and you push down on either side and that's the ribbon secured and um, we take the the sled motor 
and the spindle motor driver connector and we plug it in we just make sure that's taped down there nice there so it doesn't move and that's it that's the optical block swapped let's give it a test PlayStation optical pickup is in uh, it looks like the old one now we've replaced the shroud off the BAM model um, I've got a cotton bud holding the lid sense button down um, now what we'll probably find is this thing will just read uh, CDRs uh, straight off the bat because don't forget we've already calibrated this thing to um, work with later generation optical blocks um, now if you want to see that video it's my previous video um, so yeah let's get a, a CDR in this thing a Metal Gear Solid let's power on and hopefully we get a boom and we're getting spin up good sign yeah there we go get ready with a mute one because <laughs> I don't want a copyright claim so yeah that's looking okay isn't it yeah well, I'll mute that, mute that guys because uh, I don't want a copyright claim. I kept saying copyright strike in the last video. It's not a strike, it's a claim. So yeah, uh, that looks to be all good. Now, because this PlayStation has bitten me before and Sod Law, Sod's Law is striking back, um, I'm just going to spend 10 minutes looking at those uh, focus signals with my scope um, just to make sure everything's fine. Because like I said, I don't want to see this PlayStation again, to be honest. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to do that off camera. If you want to uh, see me calibrate a, a laser for a PlayStation, I'll put a link to a, a couple of videos, uh, which one was my previous video, but I also have another one where I calibrate the optical pickups power for the laser so it can read CDRs better. But yeah, I'll just go ahead and do that off camera, but everything looks to be running perfectly fine. And tell you the focus gain is nox on 1.8 volts so uh, still okay taking a look at the eye pattern looks pretty good to me what is it 200 millivolts per division so that's two four six run about 800 millivolts for an eye pattern that's Reading CDRs, that's pretty good. Anything under a, a volt uh, to read CDRs is, is pretty damn good. So I'm happy with that. Now if we take a look at the focus error signal. Uh, you can see that's uh, pretty nice. Nice and flat, nice and defined. So yeah, I say this thing's working a treat. Now you may be asking yourself, what am I gonna do with the old optical pickup? Um, am I gonna throw it away? Uh, no, I'm not gonna throw it away. Um, I know the optical side of this laser works perfectly fine. The only bad thing about it is the CD spindle mount uh, that's broke. Now you can pick these up. They cost about three to four pounds on eBay. They're very easy to replace, in fact, I've got a YouTube video of me replacing one of those. I'll put a link uh, in the description below to that video. And yeah, all I have to do is replace that and then I can get this optical pickup back into service because I know it works perfectly fine. We're all back together. Um, now you may be wondering to yourself, um, my optical pickups failing in my PlayStation, um, what version of the optical pickup should I get? Um, I would say anything D onwards 
uh, model number D onwards because they start with the same prefect. Uh, it goes KSM 440 and then there'll be a three digit code at the end. Uh, it goes AAM, ABM, ACM, ADM, AEM and then you get the final one like I've just put in here which is the BAM uh, which is for the slims. Uh, so anything D onwards um, I would put in a, a, a PlayStation. It wouldn't really go for the A, B. Uh, they're atrocious. The C models are a, a little bit better, but when they got to the D, they really started to get their act together. Um, now, there's another thing you need to be aware of as well. Uh, is the actual length of that ribbon cable that you see on the optical block. Some PlayStations are really short, like this one. Uh, some of them are really long, like you saw on the one I took out. Uh, because sometimes it fits over here uh, into the board so you, you just need to be aware of that make sure you get the right length uh, of ribbon cable as well what you can also do is you can go and get a BAM model like I've just put in here and if you have a longer um, ribbon cable you can actually sometimes find on eBay extenders so you can actually extend the length uh, of that ribbon um, but yeah let's chat in uh, let's get a game uh, into this PlayStation, as you can see, backup version of Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> oh no, yes, I do own the original. Go and check the previous video, you'll see it. Uh, let's power on, and hopefully, uh, we get a boot. And we do. Get ready with the mute. <laughs> I don't want a copyright claim. Winner, winner. <laughs> Mute it now. Uh, what I'll do uh, now is like I did before in the previous video. I'll give this a soak test, let it run for an hour. Um, I I don't see this having any problems to be honest. Um, it's it booted this thing up and it's uh, working perfectly fine. So yeah, it wasn't a, a tricky repair. It was a laser swap because of that uh, CD mount had broken. Um, normally I'd just replace that, but I didn't have any. Um, but I had a spare uh, BAM model laser I could pop in this thing. So yeah, there you go guys. I hope you like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. All the usual stuff. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. And hopefully, it's not this PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just see if we got audio. Legend. <laughs> First, you're to rescue the Chief, Donald Anderson, and the president of Armistead, Kenneth Baker. Yeah, it's working Both fine, guys. Um, if there's any problems, I'll, I'll put a little end bit on the end of the video. But yeah, it's working fine. I'll catch you next time, guys. <laughs>